So, I'm just sat on a wreck. And as you can see, oh, the sun. Yes, so we're on a wreck about nine miles off. We're gonna use a bumblebee jig. This is by Maxell. 20 pound fluoro, about three foot. And then um, it's, I think it's 20 pound um, major craft braid. I think it's uh, 0.16. Uh, line width. It's really important for these to flutter well. So, yeah, dropping down onto a wreck. Untangle the rod. really important when you're jigging is to try and keep the line vertical. Um, the tide at the moment is like 1.5 knots. There's the floor. Engage. Just get it off. And what we do is just lifting the rod gently and letting it letting the line go completely slack as it falls. And you can do big lifts, big slacks. Or smaller. Let it drop down. You can also do one wind per pull. into something here. Yeah? Feels like a bass. A tiny little rod. With some good head kicks. It's a nice pollock. Slow pitch jigs doing it again. Go on, buddy. That's surprising for a Pollock. Bump straight down. Right then, so this is drift number two. We're just coming over the wreck now. Let's just drop this bad boy back down. Splosh. Sorry about the camera angle. But unfortunately, I'm on an inflatable rip. Better at it. With these slow pitch jigs, it's all too easy to sort of work them too hard, like, you know, aggressive, but just find a slow and methodical. Slow and methodical pitches, and you can tell when something's bitten. That's beautiful. There's not a breath of wind. There's a good, good easterly swell of like, I don't know, a foot. And it's getting that mist later on in the day now. So that was a bite, but I didn't, I, for some reason, I didn't reel into it. Reset the drift, I think. speed.
Good old walk up. What are we doing? 18 knots. And it's quite good because it uses literally no fuel. 